Welcome to another edition of Dynatrace's Partner Cafe. I'm Rob Jan, a Partner Solution Advocate here at Dynatrace. In today's episode, we're going to be covering our solution for AWS Lambda. Let's get going. Let's start with explaining what Lambda is. Lambda is Amazon's serverless compute service that allows developers to encapsulate application logic as small functions. Some of the benefits include not having to build and maintain servers that you had to do with traditional applications, being able to automatically scale based on demand, and to shorten the delivery time of functionality. But Lambda does not run on its own. It's embedded in more complex landscapes of existing stacks and applications and transactions that span from the end user to on-prem to the mainframe. So the challenge becomes, how can one understand the impact of real user performance of our systems as a whole, as well as monitor the health of these functions? So let's jump into a demo to see how Dynatrace is solving this problem. So here I am in Dynatrace, and this is known as our topology view, which we call our Smartscape. As you can see, services are complex. They have many communications with other services. And here, if we look at our little Lambda function, it's in the mix of all the sea of service calls. So let's look at how Dynatrace is monitoring Lambda to get this view and visibility. Here I am on the AWS monitoring page. This page is being populated by all the metrics that are being published by AWS CloudWatch for my particular Amazon account. And what we can see is we brought in the Lambda functions and we can see each of the functions in our environment at a high level from the invocation counts, errors and information, all this time series data is available and all the tags associated with the Lambda functions is there. But if we wanna go deeper into the insight of what's happening with the code, we do install the one agent through the Lambda one agent extension. So here we have one of these instrumented. So at the high level, it looks the same, but if we drill into the individual service, now we get the full capability of Dynatrace to see what's happening with the code and seeing what's happening with the requests, etc. To show quickly how this Lambda function is being called by other services, let's drill into the Dynatrace backtrace. So here I am on the Dynatrace backtrace page. And starting from the top, we can see that our Lambda function was invoked by this weather service. And our weather service was called by a web server, which was serving up a couple of different applications. So this is a great view to automatically see what's calling our application. And if we want to go further, we can look at the individual requests, which Dynatrace we call the pure paths. So let's open up that page. Now that I'm on the pure path page, this is showing us each individual invocation of our Lambda function. So we can see that this was called a number of times running pretty quickly, but what was the code actually doing? So if we drill into one, now we're on an individual transaction and right away we see some great information of the overall time of 240 milliseconds. And we can see that it was in turn calling some external services, a DynamoDB database, a third party weather service, and also the database again. So we can drill in and see lots more details starting with the request attributes coming in, the response time attributes, whether it was coming in sale, failed or successful. We can have another view of this timing breakdown. We can also see some of the code level of what, what was actually happening with our code. So one more thing I wanna show you is now that we're back on the Lambda function itself, let's talk a little bit about analysis. One area is cold starts. Instances of Lambda are added and removed dynamically. When a new instance handles its first request, the response time increases, which is called a cold start. Developers are interested in what occurs at cold start to help them tune the deployment size and dependencies that influence these times. Dynatrace makes this analysis easy, all out of the box. So we're gonna drill into the multi-dimensional analysis view. I've created a couple here. So in the multi-dimensional analysis, this is based on monitored requests. Customers can use this powerful tool to analyze all the monitored requests in an aggregated way to use it to plot things like response times, failure rates, all based on these requests. So this view has been filtered to the response time only for the cold starts. And so we can see a number of occurrences where these cold starts are taking upwards of uh, over, a, over a second. If we were to filter this out, we can now see the overall health of our Lambda function is running at around 100 milliseconds. Let's recap with why AWS and Dynatrace are better together. So AWS Lambda is bringing the capability of serverless compute technology so that you don't have to manage servers, you can scale on demand, you have a consistent behavior at any level of load. And then what Dynatrace is bringing is the ability to monitor Lambda in a variety of ways from AWS CloudWatch, as well as the one agent. And there's no code changes required. For the one agent, we support multiple languages and we gain the full distributed tracing in complex landscapes. And we gain all the benefits of Dynatrace's Davis AI powered root cause analysis engine. The Dynatrace AWS extension with all its advanced capabilities is just a first step. We have a lot of great functionality in the pipeline, including 
ingestion of AWS Lambda logs, support for additional languages, and support for container images deployed on AWS Lambda. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat, and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at The Real Rob Jen.